world. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Xperganator X and we are back with another Halo Controversies video today. Today we're going to be covering Spartan abilities. So there's been a, quite a lot of controversy with Spartan abilities. I already covered two already, uh, both Sprint and Clamber, but due to some supposed leakage about Halo Infinite, uh, I'm not sure if this supposed image that's going around is actually authentic. To be honest, I don't really feel it is. I think it's just some 4chan posts at the best. It doesn't look like it's actually anything of authenticity but it is you know a few people that have seen it brought up about how why didn't uh, if this is legit why are they keeping these abilities but removing these and so forth so i i kind of just i uh, had this planned already but i didn't think i was going to get around to doing it just yet but with suppose all this uh, information coming out and supposedly we're going to probably see this at the e3 that's coming out soon i thought i might as well just cover it so I thought might as well cover the remaining five abilities and the controversies around them in one whole video here and talk a little bit about Spartan abilities in general. So there's uh, it's not like Spartan abilities are anything new uh, necessarily. They It's something that has evolved over time in the multiplayer. Um, from the very beginning with Halo 1 and Halo 2 we didn't have anything besides whatever your Spartan was whatever you spa uh, spawned in as that was you. That that was just your character right there uh, and that's how you played but then Halo 3 introduced new ways of uh, playing the multiplayer maps by being able to add in certain things called equipment and so say if you wanted to make a certain jump you could and you can just uh, you know set down a uh, grav lift uh, deployable man cannon thing whatever you want to call it and uh, just be able to jump up and get it to high altitude areas where you can grab like certain power weapons or say you're on foot and someone is uh, coming after you with a vehicle um, and you can turn around and throw out a trip mine. There's been many times like this. I remember one of my favorite moments was a time when we were uh, 2v2 um, on uh, i trying to remember the map. Uh, I think it was Construct, yeah. Um, and I had grabbed the power drain and unfortunately one of my friends uh, that I was playing with, his controller died and we were winning but all of a sudden his controller died and they were starting to catch up and he can't move and they knew the map well and it got Pretty close and they were about to win it they seriously were about to win it it was um I think it was uh, up to 25 or up to 50. I can't remember what the max mount was, but they only needed one more kill to win, and I only needed two more to win. And I just remember we were on the top floor, and they made the dumb move of trying to go for uh, I think it was a power weapon or something up there, and they were I just caught them both there, and uh, on the side, I just threw out, chucked out the uh, power drain, and as I popped around the corner, they saw me, and they were trying to snipe me. I think one of them had a sniper rifle, and the other one had a and they were they were getting pretty good hits on me but they weren't getting a headshot because I was uh, crouched jumping up and I threw the power drain it drained their shields out and I just went pop pop and just got both of them right the second before they killed me oh uh, they, they were pretty sweaty afterwards and really furious about that but it was a close match it I, I think it was like it ended up 50 49 and I just lucked out but uh, some people had controversies with that uh, right off the bat. They didn't like that because it took away, again, there's like this whole theory about the golden rule and that you can't take away from, you know, certain things. You can't take away uh, the whole uh, golden rule aspect of the game and uh, which is, you know, uh, it, in a way it doesn't really I don't feel like it really does fit but some people bring it up as a rock paper scissors but the golden rule was to be able to shoot melee grenade and by throwing in equipment that took away from that element I don't really think it does but you know so be it um, some people you know brought up the early arguments of locked animations too and I, I said well what's the point because you reload that's an animation you pick up weapons that's an animation um, there's just certain things that I just don't think that should be animations I mean, when you pick up a power uh, or is it a power up like an overshield or something like that, you should just be able to walk over that and boom, you pick it up. That's something they've had ever since Halo 1, but now in Halo 5, you got to do that stupid animation that's annoying that no one cares about. And then you have um, other things like... Uh, basically this whole um, rock paper scissors that uh, land uh, vehicles air vehicles and players and how they're supposed to be uh, one beats the other kind of thing but 
like how I think uh, I think it was like Warthog beats Banshee, Banshee beats uh, Player, but I, I forgot how that whole transition about how one's supposed to be the other, but basically they're saying by uh, doing this where Warthogs, they used to be able to run players over and whatnot, now now can't do that because now when they try to run up, they can just pull out a uh, trip mine and just chuck it out and just kill someone with that, and that, that took away the element, uh, the advantage. And, you know, again, some people are going to agree with that, but then Halo Reach came out and they decided to evolve that. Instead of having like certain abilities on the map that you can just place there, instead now you spawned in with certain abilities like jetpacks, armor lock. <laughs> yeah, armor lock. Um, evade, uh, hologram, camo, and a bunch of other ones. So there's just a whole bunch of different armor abilities that, that they came out with and that was the new thing they showed. And what you did is you had preset loadouts where everyone started with the same weapon the only thing that was different was the armor abilities that came with it usually uh obviously you change it like forge games stuff like that but for the competitive element uh they just had the same weapons you spawned in with you had the same kind of loadout the only difference was uh the loadout was that you had different armor abilities you could choose from even like a bubble shield or stuff like that um you could choose but then people didn't like that as well certain ones like armor lock which was very controversial i'm going to definitely cover that in another video hopefully soon um and also uh what was another one there was armor lock and uh, jetpack even though i loved jetpack apparently not <laughs> not everyone's on the same boat some people really did not like it especially from the competitive community which to me I don't even understand that. I'm going to cover that too in a much later down video. But um, yeah, I don't get that. If you're out in the open using your jetpack and it makes all that noise and everything, I don't see how th that that's considered overpowered when you're literally out in the open. You're basically you, you're completely exposed. So I don't see how that's being overpowered. Um, even if you can get to higher places, people can literally take, you know, DMRs and precision shot you out of the sky. But anyways, in Halo 4, um, they decided to double down on the armor abilities um, and add in some other cool ones, throw some other ones out. But overall, the, they basically just did the same thing the only difference was with uh halo 4 armor abilities was um they weren't things i think you could even pick up anymore like uh, i think you could just uh certain characters could drop them in halo reach and you could pick them up from others but i think they ended up taking that out too in like title updates or even sooner than that but <clears throat> with armor abilities you could choose which armor abilities you want to spawn with you can customize it to your own liking which even though that sounded great unfortunately it took away the whole um the whole element of being able to control loadouts and multiplayer that people could just spawn in whatever they wanted to and it took away fair starts um, and that took away a competitive element and made it feel more like cod and then you had uh situations where it came to uh you know other well, i'm gonna skip that stuff i'll do that in a later video but in um halo 5 that's where we had uh them change armor abilities uh with a lot of people that disliked it to try and change it up a little bit more so that instead um they were called spartan abilities which the only reason why i feel like they even called it spartan abilities was just because they got rid of elites but um basically spartan abilities were it was all set in everyone has the same star they have all the same abilities no one has any special ability over the other that way you can have fair loadouts but unfortunately with it um even though it was like a lot of work was done to this a lot of improvements were made it's just there was just things about the armor abilities that were not liked and so with that a lot of people want to see certain abilities removed and um supposedly the leak uh supposedly removed that certain things like um, thrust is going to be removed and uh, ground pound and charge are going to be removed um, I don't know what they said about smart scope I think they're keeping it supposedly again this is a rumor so this could be completely fake by the way um, and then uh, uh, slide I believe is also still in the game or sprint is still in the game and clamber is going to be still in the game but it apparently supposedly going to be tweaked a bit um, so uh, hopefully by the w w by what they mean by tweak, which hopefully is better, uh, is that you don't have that ability to be able to get two and a half Spartans high up in the air 
that kind of was basically allowing people to get out of maps and also be able to get to ridiculous heights that crouch jump couldn't even come close to in comparison it just made it like almost non-existent to even use um which i did in that whole video for clamber if you want to watch that video about the controversy surrounding that but overall a lot of the abilities people just don't like here so i'm just going to cover each one very briefly i already know we're at 10 minutes here but uh just quickly go over some of these i'm not going to cover sprint i'm not going to cover clamber because we already did that um i'm just going to keep these one really short because it's some of them aren't really even that controversial. Most people agree to keep it, uh, or, or agree, either agree to keep it or agree to get rid of it. Um, and I was always thinking about maybe ways that we could maybe swap it around, uh, swap certain abilities, because some, sometimes I feel like, you know, it might have been better if we, we had the choice of being able to change uh, what they were instead. But anyways, let me just cover over two of these abilities right off the bat, the two that it were easily people wanted to get rid of, which, by the way, like how I said earlier about how if you don't have an overwhelming consens uh, consensus by the community that they're more likely never going to change that, well ground pound and charge which had like one of them was over 100 votes on the two areas where i asked uh, on the polls they got like 180 or not 180 108 uh, votes and the other one got 83 votes so ground pound uh, 108 charge 83 and basically people just did not like these abilities and i can tell why out of all the other abilities the two reasons why uh, the reason why these two abilities um, are heavily disliked is because of the fact that they both uh, have the ability to uh, kill or heavily damage and affect the uh, player that's hit by it. And it just didn't make a fair ability for um, outplaying your uh, opponent because you could just run in charge uh spartan charge the enemy and then go for a second melee right afterwards or you could ground pound so it doesn't allow the opponent to uh that's getting hit by this to have an ability to react to it even though they like go oh while well, we make sounds and stuff like that to kind of alert you it's just not enough to actually be on a competitive level so that's why uh in mlg tournaments they took it out they ground pound and charge are not allowed uh, in uh MLG mlg tournaments because they just are not considered skilled uh they take away from the skilled uh um play of the game and basically took away the fairness of the game by have allowing people to use that kind of ability in it and then consider it really skillful so those two got taken out and so with it um I can understand that. I can understand a lot of people wanting to take this out. There's been a lot of great custom games though with it, which uh, is unfortunate. I mean, but then again, Armor Lock had a lot of fun custom games back in the day. Um, I'm not sure if some of you guys remember that there was like a disco one where you had, uh, you had to trap people. If you were in the infected, you had to trap the block uh, areas where they couldn't get out of. And if you blocked it and the little electric bolt uh, went into that area that you blocked and there was humans in it, they would all die and they would turn into infected. So it was actually fun, you know, being able to incorporate armor abilities into custom games. There was even, um, I think it was like a Husky Raider or something like that, where you uh, in Halo 4 used uh, the uh, light shield or um, hard light shield uh, to block bullets and you had to use it to defend yourself and your team and had to like form like a good like line of defense while the enemy team gets to use saws and just mow you down pretty much and you have to try, just try and keep your best uh, blocking the enemy from uh, being able to hit you and so I thought that was pretty cool that um, you know people incorporate armor abilities because uh, in Halo 5 there was some pretty cool uh, custom games there was one for ground pound it was a uh, I can't remember the name of it hopefully I have some footage of it but it was really cool it was like um I don't know the best way to describe it. It's basically uh, like shooting stars or meteors where the infected are up in the sky and they charge up and they just go flying at you and you have to dodge them as they're all just flying down and you have to hope they don't hit you and if they fly past you they just respawn back up in the air and they charge again and they just keep doing it over and over and over again and you just gotta keep dodging. If you die then you become infected and then there's more meteors flying down. It was It's pretty cool. It was actually a, a custom game idea that I suggested back when Halo 5 came out like someone should make this uh, where people like are on a tower and they fly down and hit you and and sure enough some a bunch of people got together I guess made it and it was pretty cool to see this because it's really fun um, when I ended up playing it 
but yeah it's so in some ways i actually see it's fun in custom games to have it it's totally fun to have that kind of stuff but i get that in the competitive side they just don't like it there so i can understand why they just decided just to get rid of it personally me i feel like if the only way they could ever keep this is if it was only just kept in the social and custom games playlist possibly and just taken out of the arena or also you know the ability of they just take out the uh added extra effects so um ground pound doesn't have a splash damage area or a one hit kill instead it's just a regular melee if they hit the player and the player just slightly moves over to the side a bit doesn't go flying off into the middle of no man's land but it just gets moved over a bit and just takes the damage of what would be the equivalent of a melee and maybe charge just does the same exact thing the player doesn't get pushed uh, a mile away instead they just you know when they get uh, hit by a shoulder charge they just take melee damage and move a little bit uh, to the side but not like they're stunned and they can't move and they can't react because it just takes away the ability for people to be able to uh counter when they get affected by that but again it was, it was really fun in custom games but i am um, it's unfortunately not very welcomed in the multiplayer competitive arena then the other one which i'm really surprised uh which was the uh, number three of which is like in between i guess you could say controversial about like whether or not people really like it or not is smart scope uh with 29 votes uh people voted that they wanted to see it gone um i'm actually surprised by this to be honest smart scope oh my god actually out of all the armor abilities that i did have uh beef with i actually liked smart scope i actually liked it and it was something that I've always wanted since Halo CE. I didn't like the ability, the fact that only certain weapons like the sniper rifle or the uh, Magnum was the only two weapons that you could zoom in with. Um, and that when it came to Halo 2, they finally allowed it where you could use at least the binoculars vision on your gun. But the second you started firing, it instantly took you out of that view ability to be able to see. And I actually liked that ability to be able to at least uh, be able to zoom in. And and then like finally in Halo 5 they go oh yeah now you can actually zoom in and uh, uh, you have your reticle there that you can see and you fire and I thought it was fair too because it doesn't give you high magnetism for certain weapons like uh, the AR it doesn't give you this uh, far sight ability it just gives you some uh, uh, some uh, advantage but overall it's not going to give you a huge uh, boost in um, like player difference and so I thought that was pretty fair but uh, unfortunately I guess there's some people that don't like it but here's the thing as a like a counter to it maybe the ability is to just turn it off in multiplayer or uh, be able to turn it off in the uh, competitive arena where um, when you zoom in you just have binocular vision or whatever or you don't even have any vision uh, I think that'd be fair but I, th I don't know personally I actually liked this ability uh, to be able to zoom in. it's something I actually have always wanted um, so I guess I differ with people maybe. Maybe a good alternative maybe is uh, that when people zoom in with a non-precision based weapon that they can still stay in zoomed mode but they don't have a ridicule to see when they shoot. I don't know. Personally me though I actually enjoyed this ability. The other one here is the thrust pack ability. Now this is uh, they got 29 votes so it's pretty close to smart scope and uh, a for what people wanted to see removed and uh with it um it's a two-parter it's both stable and uh thrusting so it's not just like you thrust side to side front back left right um it's also just being able to jump in the air and hold a lot of people dislike this ability because of the fact that it allows uh, people too much time to react so Back in the days like Halo 2, Halo 3, when you saw montage videos of people sniping and whatnot and doing these crazy moves, they were constantly moving at a fast pace. They weren't, you know, just holding still or whatnot. They had to move constantly. Well, a lot of times when you see these Halo 5 videos, they're constantly doing that, where they're jumping up in the air, aiming and holding for a bit, and then sniping. And it's just like they, you're giving them way too much time. If you took away that ability, they couldn't have enough time to react so, to it so i actually understand it but what's kind of interesting though um is 
just because they're if they are outright getting rid of it i don't understand why people were so you know supportive of getting rid of it but then you have people that talk all the time about how they loved halo reaches evade which technically the two of them are the same exact thing in fact i think halo 4's thruster ability was the worst out of all of them i never liked the halo 4 thrust it was really wonky and whatnot um, it took you out of uh, first person and third person and back to first person it was it was kind of weird um but yeah the uh halo 5 was uh i guess just something else there's people have gripes with not as close though again with grand pound and charge uh but yeah it's uh pretty interesting personally this is why i wanted the swap abilities because i would have actually loved to be able to have the ability to use jetpacks and stuff like that i know again there's people that hate jetpacks but i actually thought it'd be cool if i could swap out thrust pack with jetpack but yeah, and then there's the last one, which is Slide, which is, uh, that one got 21 votes, and I think there's some understanding of why, like, I personally have had situations where I just hate, uh, just like as much as I hate Thrust, I hate Slide, um, for, for certain aspects of when it gets used, because it just makes the gameplay sweaty as hell, um, I think with like thrust pack is just like I think uh, just go back on it. I think the reason why people were uh, a little bit against it was because of the hitbox like quickly drastically changing versus versus evade was just slightly changed, but you could still shoot it. But when you thrust, it just completely throws off your aim drastically um, because of how fast it moves. But back to slide. So slide basically the infection. Um, game type is where it gets super sweaty i see so many times people just sliding left and right and it's it's so annoying because they're constantly um especially when you're infected what they do is they would sprint then uh crouch down to go for that slide and then jump back up and stab it and it constantly caused your aim which unfortunately the aim assist is just absolutely terrible in the game and no matter how much i try to adjust it doesn't really help much um people just do this thing where you're aiming at them they aim they thrust down they pop back up and you try to shoot them and it's just like even when you have this precision based weapon you're going for the head it just constantly keeps shifting it in uh, shifting where the hit boxes are so you can't hit the get that headshot as easily and it's just it's really annoying and it just makes the the game mode that's supposed to be a casual fun mode it, it's super salty it's just like it's everything gets well super sweaty i i get salty because of the fact that it's super sweaty um because I just I never enjoyed that. I liked Halo was it Halo 3, Halo 4 infection? Actually no, I don't even like those. I like uh what's it called? Um I Halo 2 anniversary infection I like and I also like uh, if you guys played on Halo 2 Vista, they have an infection game mode on the project Car cartographer. Um it's actually really fun it's it works exactly like how halo 2's uh zombie mode worked when people played in custom games but with the actual enforcement of when you die you switch teams so it was actually pretty cool um if you guys actually uh like that kind of stuff you really should check that out it's really fun and i actually like playing that because it's fun and, and like people just have long range you know swords that they can stab you with which i'm okay with but it's just what uh, with the whole ability to just sprint slide and mo make the movement so drastically fast it just it makes it so sweaty to play and it's not really that enjoyable uh, personally I, it's like every time i play infection just because i sometimes have good days sometimes i have bad days some days it's just like oh my god i why did i even bother to play because there's like people that go super sweaty in fact one of the people i ended up uh, playing against um i think he was with the party too but it was a uh, precursor eagle i think that's the guy and he just made it so sweaty it wasn't even fun to play against him he's a guy that uh talks about how to like how to rank up fast and in infection um and you know get tons of kills i ended up in a match with him and i'm like oh great it's you pretty much i'm like oh god i, I ended up just not even playing because i or when i got the infected i i didn't even bother because this guy knows every map every detail and how to get out of it so i just sat back and just did nothing because i'm like i'm not gonna just go out there and just keep spawning on die so uh yeah but the guy like seriously if he gets infected it's just like he does his like crazy thrust around the map kind of thing it's just like yeah i'm just not gonna and i i understand though why people dislike it 
Hulk. So, yeah, I can understand why people want to get rid of it. It's just people just sliding, boosting around the maps. And, yeah, there was even a glitch, too, with it where you could actually get around the map really fast with the thrust and slide. Um, if you did the thrust slide jump and combined it just right, you could immediately get around the map. Um, ah, shit, I forget, keep forgetting that one. It looks like a small little Tokyo map. Um, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but basically that map, uh, I try to remember the best way to describe it. It's just, it's, it's, not, it's one of those maps that's not asymmetrical, or it is asymmetrical. It's not symmetrical, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, basically, uh, I don't even know. Um, uh, hopefully some of you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but basically if you could do that, uh, fuck, I forgot what the name of that ability was, what, um, where it allowed you to spread across the map or slide across the map real fast. If you, they fixed the, the glitch uh, where it allowed you to do this, but basically on that map, you could immediately get across the map in about like, a half a second it did not take much time and yeah sliding just like thrusting just like a lot of the other abilities it just it allowed way too much uh, ability for people to get out of the maps and so it's definitely one of those things that just it was not well liked by the community just because of uh, things like that and also because of the fact that you're changing hitboxes but again I don't understand that at all why people um, are against that but then I hear people that are for evade and they're like yeah I like to evade in Halo reach but i hate the ability to thrust and slide i'm like why it's like well because your uh hitboxes change i go doesn't your hitbox change with evade and yeah unfortunately i don't get really clear answers from people on that so yeah um but that's anyway that's my opinion on it about uh like or well that's both uh, the community's response on what they want to see and kind of what my response is i the only one i'm really okay with is smart scope i actually like it um but that's about it so i'm gonna end it off here before we go too long in this video but that's where the community is there's you know to kind of conclude it there is some of them like ground pound and charge that i can definitely see are just going to be completely removed because it makes sense for it and some of them um I'm not sure if they're going to really actually keep it or not, but I mean, some of them are a little bit more controversial and some of them aren't, but definitely as you can tell, like with sprint and ground uh, sprint and clamber, how controversial they are and where these other abilities stack up, you can see which ones probably might stay. Some might go, what might be some alternatives. I'm not sure about, but, um, certainly hopefully i don't know really if there's any way to conclude it personally me i think the only way you can really fix these arm abilities is definitely what i suggested about ground pound and charge about taking away all the added effects and just have a melee uh, damage applied when these effects are used and that they only get used in uh, social uh playlists and uh casual uh like custom games but in the competitive community ground pound and charge in general just need to be taken away because they just take they give too much an advantage and i can understand uh thrust as well in the competitive uh arena matches also being taken away and i don't know maybe even slide but um i don't see anything wrong with smart scope i actually think it's really fine in any of the modes uh in any of the playlists as well but anyways i'll leave it up to you guys what you guys think what is a good alternative because personally me i think that you know obviously a lot of there are people that don't like uh the spartan abilities just because they seem to make the games really sweaty no one really um a lot of these people don't like how sweaty makes the gameplay feel and it makes it less enjoyable other people think it adds an extra element of competitiveness to it so it's really unfortunately there's both sides that have their own take on what they like and what they dislike so people that are strongly you know completely like get rid of all spartan abilities and some people are like oh no keep it and i there's different community uh, i decided to also hold like multiple polls on this like where the community stood on this where they're at where which ones they like like some people still like you know the halo 3 equipment some people like halo reach armor abilities so there's still different takes on it what people actually enjoy to using again my opinion is is they're gonna stick to the kind of the motto of you know halo combat evolved where combat is constantly evolving so i don't think they're ever gonna go backwards i don't think they're ever gonna go back to our, no armor bill no abilities at all no enhancements they're not gonna go back to using equipment they're not gonna go back to using halo reach or halo 4 armor abilities i think they're going to continue on with halo 5 uh 
abil uh, Spartan abilities, but they're going to evolve it. I think it's not going to be called Spartan abilities anymore if they do, in fact, bring back elites. I think they're just going to give it some other special name, but I obviously don't think that they're going to use that same uh, kind of, you know, mindset of uh, going backwards. I Again, I, I even tried asking again just for the hell of it because I know that people say, well, in time things change. And so I tried to ask again about Clamber and Sprint to see where people stood at. And same response. People are still in support of uh, keeping those two, even though there is a huge demand by the competitive uh, uh, classic uh, community that thinks that they are absolute cancer and that they do not help at all with uh, improving Halo. And to be honest, I'm kind of actually surprised some of the responses I got about people saying they should keep it. And so some people point out like the videos that I pointed out that show like comparisons about how you're not actually moving f uh, faster, how it's taking you out of the action to uh, climb up on objectives, how it's helping you get up to ridiculous lengths and all this stuff. And I've had some of them say they just don't care. They, they don't care if it uh, breaks the gameplay. They don't care if it takes away any competitiveness to it. They don't care as long as they're enjoying it. They, they say that for all they care about, esports can die if they want. Uh, then there's people that say like, uh, like Sprint, for example, they say um like they say it makes you go faster and i did you know the whole like what if i told you like the whole matrix like what if i told you that you actually aren't going faster that they stretch the maps to compensate and they go don't care it, as long as i feel like i'm going faster that's all that matters and i'm just sitting here going so you're telling me you don't care if you're not actually going faster you just want to feel like you're going faster because you didn't like how i felt in the older halo games because you felt like you're not moving quicker even though in actuality you technically were moving faster <laughs> That's where I'm just going to end it off at. I mean, what's your opinion? Should we go back to classic gameplay and get, remove Spartan abilities entirely? Should we go back to Halo Reach and do it that way with armor abilities? Uh, or should we go back to Halo 3 equipment? Or should we just continue on and just evolve the Spartan abilities to something more substantial that's more balanced and uh, tweak it a bit until we get to a more uh, finer gameplay? Obviously, we're going to find out in the flight tests how this is going to go, but probably even sooner than that with the e3 we're gonna find out what exactly is gonna happen if it's gonna stay or if it's gonna go but yeah i i have a strong feeling that somehow clamber and sprint are gonna stay but i'm not sure how that's gonna be well received by the community because there's certain people like fabian out there that you know they really like halo but they do not like the direction halo's going in and uh, mlg casual or mlg competitive classic players just do not like the way that current halo is and again as you saw there was more popularity with um bringing back the mlg halo 3 than there was with halo 5. halo 3 got way much more of a response when they said that they're going to use that classic uh, mlg playlist or, and have teams back out of faster response and also on top of that um you had uh, Halo MCC that's getting more popular uh, as time goes on, whereas Halo 5 is just completely dying off. And it kind of tells you something about, you know, the games in general, the two of them, which one people are actually enjoying and which ones they are not. And a lot of it, it's funny because there's Halo Reach and there's Halo 4 that are in between this, but in reality, when it, it also Halo 1 and Halo 2, but when it comes to Halo MCC versus Halo 5, it seems to be more of a truly Halo 3 versus Halo 5, classic movement mechanics versus enhanced mobility. It seems like it's just this constant battle between the two and trying to find who's going to be the winner at the end of all this. But again, I'm going to wrap it up. Post down in the comments what your opinions are. You know, rate, comment, subscribe. And if you like this video, um, yeah, definitely give it a like and definitely let me know what you guys think because um, I'm curious. Um, and if there's any other videos uh, or any ideas that you want to suggest, I got a whole list I got to go through. Trust me, it's pretty lengthy um, of different things I'm going to be covering. I'm trying to cover them order of. Uh, priority but if you have any suggestions of certain things in like halo controversies that you want to hear about i'll love to definitely cover them but yeah if you definitely want me to do that just uh leave it down in the comments anyways you all have a great day peace bye